Joe just said he felt like that was one of the best that he's seen you throw this year. Did you feel like it was one of your best outings? Yeah, I mean, I felt like I had really good control of all my off-speed pitches, and then I was looking at my fastball as well. You mentioned those off-speed pitches. He specifically mentioned the curveball mm -hmm. and the splitter. How much did those two pitches play into your success? Uh, they were huge. I was able to get, you know, get some first pitch strikes with the curveball and a few outs with that as well, and then uh, the split was uh, really good for me tonight. I was able to get some strikeouts, some quick outs with it, and uh, use my fastball off of those. When you talk about the off-speed pitches, how much is it not only having those pitches, but having the confidence to throw them in certain counts? Uh, it's, I mean, it's always you know big to have confidence in throwing all your pitches. It just, I mean, I feel like they're field pitches, especially you know the curveball. Uh, you know, I had a good feel for it though tonight, so I was able to mix it in to the mix tonight. Joe, Joe had said after the uh, Marlins start in Florida that maybe the emotions got the best of you pitching against your former team. He said he was hoping that wouldn't be the case tonight. Mm -hmm. How were you able to, to kind of make sure that that didn't play into it? Uh, I mean, like you said, I, I, I would agree. You know, the emotions probably got the best of me, and I was too amped up and not locating my pitches. But tonight I was just trying to take it pitch by pitch and really locate each one. When you're on the mound, are you noticing that Nolan Ryan is, is sitting right there watching you? Uh, I, d I didn't know he was right there. I mean, I they'd, I talked to Reed yesterday, and he said that he would be here tonight. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, I was just trying to look, focus on the game. Uh, what, what did it mean for you to just, you know, you hadn't pitched here before mm -hmm. and have so many people from No, uh, I mean, it was, it was big. Uh, I had a lot of friends and family here tonight. Uh, I mean, it was just a big game, a lot of emotions, uh, just trying not to let them get the best of me. And, uh, go out there and locate my pitches. Did, did you uh, you didn't happen to uh, have any conversation with Nolan? No, no, no. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't, I haven't spoke to him at all. You've never spoken to him. No, sir. And, uh, how many people do you think you had tonight? Uh, I think I left around 100 tickets. 30. 100. 100. Yeah. <laughs> you lost money tonight. What's that? You lost money tonight. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you meeting uh, Nolan tomorrow? I don't know. I mean, uh, hopefully. Yeah. Was the breaking stuff of, uh, because of their aggressiveness as hitters, or mm -hmm. just because you felt like? Uh, I mean, they're you know they're a really aggressive team. They you know jump on the fastball a lot. I was just trying to be able to keep them off the fastball as much as possible and work ahead in the count um, to get them off the fastball. I know it makes for a good story that he was here. Did you like look up to him, or is he just from? I mean, obviously he's Nolan Ryan. But yeah, no, I mean, growing up for me, uh, you know, I connected baseball with him. Uh, in, the, in our town, it was, you know, Nolan Ryan, everything. Uh, you go to any restaurant, you know, his memorabilia and everything was there, so, uh, yeah. Was that? You said you didn't notice he was there. Did anybody point it out to you after you were out of the game? Or I had hitting? seen it on the on the big screen, you know, when they announced. I had heard it then, and uh, I think that was like the fifth or sixth. That's when I noticed him there. Did uh, anybody say anything that you know, just from the day of the, you know, and Chris both being from kind of around here and having big nights tonight? Or? Uh, I mean, no, there wasn't really too much talk going on in the dugout about that.